Hello there, Eagles. It's Mr. Hurd, and we are on for Thursday at 3.30. The link is in Schoology on the right-hand side, and we're going to be talking about alcohol, some different types of alcohol. And I will tell you, it's going to be pretty fiery. So go to Schoology, 3.30 Thursday, and come on and have some fun. All right, what we talked about last week, there we go, pizza dough. We had fun with pizza dough last week, and we talked about yeast and the chemical reaction that happens with the yeast. We did an online search for a recipe, and we came up with JennyCanCook.com. And it's a pretty simple recipe, and the ingredients just consisted of one and a half cups of bread flour, three quarters teaspoon of yeast, uh, three fourths teaspoon of sugar, uh, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and then two thirds cup of warm water, and one tablespoon of olive oil. So it was pretty simple, and we went off to the races. All right, the first thing we did is we combined our dry ingredients. So we added salt into a bowl, sugar, flour, and then we talked about flour for a quick second. And flour in the bread dough, it contains enzymes that are able to break down starches, converting them to sugars, which is then converted to glucose. And glucose is a simple sugar, which is part of a carbohydrate. And then we added yeast into the bowl. And yeast is a small, single-celled organism, a fungus. It's alive, kind of like fruit is alive. It needs food, warmth, and moisture to thrive. And so yeast feeds off of simple sugars, breaking them down into carbon dioxide, ethanol alcohol, as well as energy, and it makes the gluten strong. The carbon dioxide expands as the dough is warmed and causes the dough to rise. So yes, there is a chemical reaction taking place where the starches are converted to sugars and metabolized into carbon dioxide. And that process is known as fermentation. And fermentation basically means that a substance is breaking down into a simpler substance, very similar to wine, where the red grapes go through a fermentation process and is converted into wine. All right, once we added all of the dry ingredients, they just kind of sat there in the bowl. Nothing happened. So we added the wet ingredients, the water and the olive oil. And what's significant about water is that the water makes the yeast wake up. It gets everything started and then the chemical reaction begins to happen. So the two substances, yeast and sugar, they react to each other and together they make a new substance called carbon dioxide, which we just went over. And that's the chemical process that happens. Um, the carbon dioxide is the same stuff that's in soda pops uh, that we use for Mentos. Um, when we use vinegar and baking soda for bottle rockets, it converted to carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is everywhere. Once we did that, we mixed it up in the bowl and the bowl kind of turns it around, mixes it up, and it, come, it becomes gooey and doughy. And when that happens, we take it out and put it on the kitchen counter. And then it looked like a biscuit. And so what we did, and we went into a process called kneading. K-N-E-A-D, kneading. In the baking industry, kneading is very popular. And a lot of people are making bread because this kneading process is very relaxing. It's very therapeutic. 
So with kneading, all you do is you take that ball that looks like a biscuit, you smash it down, you turn it, and then you fold it over, and then you do it again. Smash it, turn it, and fold it over. And you do that about 50 times, about a minute to a minute and a half. Okay, once you do that, once you do that, you place it into a bowl, and it looks like this. So on the left-hand side, once you're done kneading, you have a small little ball there. And what I did before our class, I actually made pizza dough about three hours prior to class starting, and I put it in a bowl, and we saw a comparison, which was really cool, because you can see the growth and the, the process of the, the dough rising after a period of time, and it was really cool to see. And it looked very, very similar to the picture that you see right now. And so our takeaways for the day was that yeast produces carbon dioxide. It's one of the major gases responsible for the rising or the leavening in baking. In bread making, the yeast organisms drive out the carbon dioxide as they feed off of the sugars. And as the dough rises, the carbon dioxide is formed, and this is how the dough volume increases. The carbon dioxide expands and moves as the bread dough warms and bakes in the oven. The yeast also produces ethanol alcohol or ethyl alcohol. All right, um, a lot of people will say that the alcohol contributes to the taste of the bread, which is true, but it also adds to the, the leavening and the rising of the bread. So when the yeast breaks down the glucose, transforming it into carbon dioxide and the alcohol, both of those are formed in equal parts. So for every glucose molecule, there are two molecules of carbon dioxide and two molecules of ethanol. So while at the room temperature, the alcohol is liquid, but when you put it in the oven, the alcohol begins to evaporate, and then it transforms into gas bubbles that contribute to the rise of the bread. And then we also learn that yeast develops and strengthens gluten. So I think of gluten as glue. So without gluten, the gas bubbles in the dough would be lost, and you would have really, really dense bread. So the gluten plays a critical role in bread rice. It traps the bubbles of the gas, and the yeast has an impact on the development of the gluten. The enzymes in the flour slowly break down the gluten proteins into smaller pieces. And those smaller pieces can be assembled with the help of yeast into a network to form gluten. And so those were our takeaways for the day. And then one thing we did to help us kind of remember what yeast really does in pizza dough is we all participated in a rhyme. And the rhyme was, yeast is a beast. It'll make the dough increase. And so that's what we did. It was a fun class. Make sure you're there this week as we talk about alcohol and some of the effects of alcohol. It's going to be very fiery. So I hope you're there. Go to Schoology on the right-hand side, Mr. Hurd's Fun Science Class at 3.30 on Thursday. Hope to see you there.